Ooh. Okay, start us off, Hugo. All right. What is the better split connector for people who have split keyboards? Is it the SATA cable for the next slide? Or is it the TRRS? Uh, TRRS? TRS in chat? Which I one? mean, the real answer is USB-C, but... Ooh, hey, well, hold on. That's not a choice, okay? This is why you're a guest. This is what's why you're not a... <laughs> I mean, between, oh, yeah. between the two, one has an insertion rate rating of 50, and the other has insertion rating of a lot more than 50. Also, TRR is way cheaper, way more replaceable. Like, I, I know how Someone to said the TRS. TRS shorts. How do you answer? How, what's, oh. your, what's, your, what's your shorts? What's your answer to that? Uh, ground your shit. I can't wait to sit up at my desk and ground my PCB keyboard. PCB designers <laughs> should make their PCBs more uh, ESD safe. ESD safe. According to every interest check on a half. All right. So I think we're both in agreement here, or all of you are in agreement that TRRS is slightly better. Or just get it. The, the other thing, we're going to pick USB C cable. Oh, that's yeah. the great thing. Imagine yes. using a split, though. Yeah. Imagine just make it wireless. Split. Imagine not just getting an LS bipod. All right. <laughs> our next slide. Which is the superior editor theme? We have GMK Monokai Material from Mr. Blotsky or GMK Oblivion. Both pretty hot sets, Ooh. pretty similar. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, ooh is right. Pretty tough decision, actually. Oblivion. 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 Hands you think down. Oblivion? Yeah, oh. Easy pick. Easy Oblivion? Yeah. Oh, it's incredible that you guys are on the same page. Because oh, Zombamon with Monokai material. Ooh. I mean, they both. I mean, well, I mean, okay. So IDE theme. Okay, maybe Monokai is pretty nice. Yeah. Key set wise, though, I prefer Oblivion as a key set. Yeah. I wish the legends for the mods were as sharp as the Monokai, but I would have to say the two tone for this one goes to goes to Oblivion. All right. All right. Surprisingly, everyone's on the same page here. All right, our ne another key set related. Okay, promise this is gonna be the last one. Is what is the most alpha beta kit? We've got GMK beta, the base. That's version. not the next slide, bud. Oh, is another. I'm turning. I'm trolling. <laughs> I'm trolling. Also, your slideshow is like flickering for some reason. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I forgot. But... Okay, we're gonna take a break from keycap sets for a second. Is we're going to bring up which is the better panda, mass produced panda. Do we have the drop holy panda, three pin only, or the new glorious five pin panda? Glorious. You think glorious, glorious probably because drop sucks. Ooh. You, are you considering glorious your new overlords? Both uh, bad. I, I, I was I was one of the I was one of the few people who did not get a sponsored badge of glorious pandas. So oh, neither did I. So don't worry about <laughs> it. I did. <sighs> okay, buddy. I want to bring up the font that off topic for a second. I want to bring up one week but ago. Neither Huey was complaining that he suck. didn't get a sponsorship thing from too bad from a vendor. While me and Diego MX did. MX MX Browns and MX Clears are goats. Yeah, I'm excluded. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think I'm options, Browns though. If... But between the two options of yeah, drop, between the two options. of drop HPs and glorious pandas, I mean glorious pandas are would be it for me. I think there's All better right, switches than both of them. Obviously, a race, a master race. I, I I like to point out how like like both pictures aren't properly centered on your slideshow. I can find it in time. Okay, hey, you need to relax. <laughs> yeah, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> that's toxic, man. <laughs> oh my god. I'm... I'm being attacked. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to move on back to the previous question, if you guys heard. What is the more alpha beta kit? As in, in GMK beta, is it the base kit or is it the red kit? The JS. Oh, it's the JS kit. The JS no Why is it more alpha? I'm just super curious. Why do you think it's more alpha? Because it's perfectly it's... inspired by, the, yeah. by Justison's High Pro, which looks amazing and is amazing. I mean. Yep. Yep. Come on. I mean, Huey, don't you own just system stuff? I do. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah. I, I got so, my it looks base so good. Well. Those those red accents pop so nicely against the gray. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, actually, everyone. Wow, we're agreeing with almost every topic. I thought you guys were going to scuff over it. I, I, I thought these would be more difficult, bud. I hey, <laughs> I need them to be surprises. Okay. Typical boring stuff. You would have already had this. Okay. The next one. Which back design on the keyboard was more realistic to be put into production? Oh, God. Round one or version one's Evolve seventy five. Oh no! With, or the Chaos seventy five. Oh and no! Neither of them are realistic to manufacture. I, how, how... Hey, the question is, you got to pick this or that, okay? The neither is not even. Okay, in fine. The... I'll. If I had to pick, I'll pick the Evolve over that square looking thing. Yeah, I think I'd pick the Evolve as well because I can at least see it being made out of clay. Because the question was, which one would you would you think is more possible can actually to make, make it into production? Yeah, yeah, to make it into production, I, I I'd have to say the evolve, just because you can just not make it out of metal and make it out of like gum and and cut up toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if the base kit comes and you just have the glue popsicle sticks together <laughs> <laughs> like IKEA style? Oh God. <laughs> Or what if the chaos comes with like individual Lego bricks that you have to attach? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. That would actually be okay. a better keyboard than both of those. I, I agree. I True. 100% agree. All right. Last final thing. And this one, I think we're all going to agree on. Would you rather have regular non mod pipe or like some other people choose mod color pipe? One of them isn't even the like it, it should not even exist. <laughs> mod types should not exist. Mod or types mod and mod this can disappear. No mod pipe in base kits, no mod pipe it, just delete them. Do you think it should not be offered ever again? Yeah. To even suggest them. that making it wrong. Actually, well, I mean, honestly, like if the designer wants to offer them, cool. Uh but personally I I'm I, I'm not invested in it because I just never use them. Huey, no mods, no no mod no pipe. Mod. It should be alpha pipe. It's alpha key. When you when you when you when I'm going to disagree you, because you, Puzzy you, took that side. When, when you push <laughs> the key, it doesn't modify something else. It's just you pushing that key. All right. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear from you guys. All right. It, it's very clear that the audience we have in this stream is is, is very. Very not based, civilized, very um, knowledgeable. We, they're they're truly bright. We have the best. Oh wait, here's a good one. In in a hobby where GM gay handerbite exists, why do we care whether or not someone has mod color piped or tilled? Handerbite is its mm. own thing. I don't even think like handerbite is like is exists. beyond handerbite is, is yeah. beyond borders. Handerbite okay. exists as the exception to any rules. Well, it's not even that. It's because Handerby doesn't follow the rule of modifiers and alpha. Yeah. Like, there, you there, there just simply like isn't a rule. Like, it actually is just a replica, like, it's the replica of the board that was used as the display unit, which was the inspiration for Handerby, right? So, um, so yeah, it, it probably, um... Hey, man, we don't know Gawk. Okay, I think Handerbite exists to be an outlier. Small brains can't... Yeah, maybe 10 years from now, we'll look back at Handerbite as a piece of art. Truly, the most revolutionary piece of art ever made. I think, okay. I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's think like it's, a nice... You think, do you own one? I think Handerbite is great. I think I own one. Yeah, I own a, I own a, I own a set of the junk Handerbite. I think it actually grew on me after I started owning it because it actually was like... At first, I was like, okay, like, it kind of looks funny, right? And it's a historical set. I collect, like, OG Cherry stuff, so I, I enjoy collecting that kind of stuff. And then as I, like, I put it on a board and I saw their photos, I was like, oh, actually, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. I was actually gonna, going to post some photos, uh, I guess I'll post them later today, uh, of a board with Jamie Gehander, but and I thought it didn't look so bad. Um, especially, like, on a more neutral base, it tends to look okay. Mm -hmm. all right i think that wraps it up for this or that surprisingly we all agreed on everything as we should have on this yeah. campaign 